it's no secret your iPhone is filled with a lot of cool features, apps, and games. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some secret hidden settings that I find cool and hopefully you're going to find interesting as well. Let's get started. All right, so before we begin, let's just take a quick look at our connection status at the top right here if you're using an iPhone 10 or 10s. Depending on which device you're using, you may see it on the left side here. Basically, you want to focus in on your LTE signal. What we can see from mine is I have three bars. That means that my connection isn't the best, but it's not too bad right now. And what I'm going to show you with these hidden settings with this field test mode is the numbers behind that. So you can get a better idea of what that means and how good your connection actually is. So first off, let's open our phone application here. And you want to navigate to the keypad section. And then we're going to enter in this number star three zero zero one pound one two three four five pound star so type it in exactly like that and then tap on the call button and it'll open up the field test mode now one thing to note is that these settings that we're looking at right here are specific to a certain model of iphone for example I'm seeing this because my iPhone is powered by an Intel modem, and this includes models sold by AT&T or T-Mobile. If you see a different field test mode than this one right here, this could mean that your iPhone is powered by a Qualcomm modem, and this includes models sold by Verizon or Sprint. And I'm only mentioning these because these are the larger companies. So I'm going to put some more information about these two different types in the description. Give it a quick read. You'll be able to search online and find exactly what you're looking for. So you can work through this depending on if you have my settings or the other ones. So moving forward here, we're going to focus on the serving cell mes or serving cell measurement. Now from here, you're going to see a lot of different options, the SINR, RSRP, the RSRQ. Now from what I was able to find online, the zero and one refer to the two antennas in the iPhone. It doesn't say though which one is which. However, the stronger of the two signals measured is going to be the zero reading. Now they're going to display different signal strengths and all of these signal strengths we're seeing here on the right are measured in dBm. But basically with these numbers here, they can range from minus 40 to 130. Minus 40 is going to be the best possible signal and minus 130 is going to be the worst. Now the SINR stands for signal to interference plus noise ratio. So if the area you're in is noisy or unclear, then you'll see a lower number. The RSRP option here is the reference signal received power, and it's the main measurement that's going to determine the number of bars you see at the top. The RSRQ option refers to the reference signal received quality, and it also takes into account noise and interference. So based on where you are, whether you're in a condo, if you're driving in the country, depending on all of that, these numbers are going to change and in turn combine to give you that bar that you see at the top. In terms of what I see on mine here, you can see that my RSRP0 is at minus 102, my RSRP1 is at minus 107, so those two, antennas or towers that I'm connected to are fairly similar and I have a pretty bad connection here which is odd because I've never had issues where I am. So to just give you a quick rundown of the RSRP numbers since it is the primary source to determine these bars, anything minus 115 or above is going to be one bar, anything around minus 105 to minus 114 could be around two bars, Anything minus 95 to minus 104 is going to be around three bars and minus 95 or below is going to be optimal. You'll have that four bar ratio there. So keep that in mind for these statistics here. It is a little bit confusing. You can do your research specifically on each one of these, just Googling it and you'll get more information about it. But in terms of just getting an idea of why or how these numbers are representing your connection status, that's basically where you can look, and this is the field test mode. Now, there's a lot of other things that go into it here. You can look into each one of these and search them online. However, that's the extent I'm going to get into here. 
there's a lot that you can look at but if you want to just check it out if you're interested in this kind of stuff or if you just want to see the numbers that you have depending on what area you're in this is how you do it let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions if you want to put together a little bit more information leave it in the comments for any readers that would be great as well don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel for more videos and i'll see you in the next one